Today I'm going to show you how to make this hook or pencil grippy. Now the great thing about this is that you only need four pegs. You only need four pegs. One, two, three, four. And that's great because I can do another project on the loom. So, let's get started. For this, you will need red, yellow, green, pink, purple, turquoise, or blue, and orange. Now, the pink can be neon or regular, and it can be jelly yellow, jelly purple, jelly turquoise, neon orange, any type. It can be your choice. Mine, I like to use jelly yellow, jelly purple, and neon green, and neon orange. And then a regular pink and regular red. So, those are the colors you need. And let's get started. You will need four reds for this first step. What you will do is you're going to take this and twist it as so into an eight shape. And then put it on like so. Then you're going to do the same exact thing. Like that. And then what you'll do, you do the same thing in a square shape. Like so. Make sure you push down really far because you're going to have lots of bands on these four pegs. Now you're going to need four oranges, like so. And this time, instead of twisting it, you're just going to leave them straight. And in the same order of the pegs you did for the red, you're going to put the orange on. And that's square formation, like so. And then, same with the yellows. Four yellows. Same way. Like so. And then I'll show you the next step. Now for the next step, don't put the green bands on yet. What the next step will do is you're going to take your hook and you're going to take, turn your loom around. You're going to take these two red rubber bands. Might be a little hard to grab. Sometimes it's a little hard to grab. So, and just go loop them around like so. And then do the same. For the rest of them. And it should look like this. Now push your bands down now. And then what you're going to do next is take four green bands, as so, flip your loom back over, and in the same order as you did for the red, yellow, and orange ones, put on straight. the green bands. Now don't put on, again, don't put on the blue bands yet. You're going to flip it over again, but this time do the orange rubber bands. Grab both of them. 
and make sure you don't get the yellow ones or else it will be messed up. And as you can see here, just grab both of them. You have to be really careful with these. And then, once you're done with that, push your bands down. Then I'll grab four blue bands, flip it over. This looks very simple, and it really is. It's not as hard as it looks. And as before, put them on straight in the same order. Sorry for the lighting. So, make sure they're correct. Push down, flip over, and then you'll do the yellow ones, the yellow bands. Make sure you grab both of them. Don't grab just one. Make sure you don't grab a green one. And then you will have your four purples and flip back over. You'll put on your purple bands as so. As you can see, I like to use the jelly purple for this. I think it's a good color combination of the different that differentiates instead of just plain purple. Make sure everything's in order there. Then flip your loom. Grab both greens. Just loop it over. Don't go under as so, don't go under like this. Just hook it from right here. That's a good tip to know, or else it won't, the entire bands will come off. And if you did that, then you will notice and you will start over. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. And then you will go to the pinks next. I did pinks next because I thought that color combination look good from going to purple to pink and when I did this it looked great so I proved my theory correct and so then once again now you're gonna grab the blues a bit over you'll see how it looks like this and from the side how it's turning out like that like a fish tail from the sides so and now we'll go back to the red bands and then flip your loom back over and I suggest doing the rainbow pattern for about two to three times so that's what I'm doing. You do two to three times, and then you'll. Oh my God, and then when you get to the, after the third rainbow, and you're at the ending of the pink, 
you're going to do another red, another orange, and another, yeah, another red and an orange, and then loop over the pink. So we'll complete the rainbow, and that's what you'll do. I'll explain it when I get there. But once I finish doing this purple and the pink, I will skip to when I completed my rainbows. And you just pause the video after I complete the pink so you can catch up on doing the three rainbows. If you have any suggestions of any types or if you're from Middle North and you want me to give you one, that's fine. They're not really hard to make and I go pretty fast at them. And so as you can see, I'm on my last one. Just do the pink. Sometimes it's hard when they're a little bit together. Sorry about that. If you're a beginner, you can push the pink bands down a little bit so they're easier to grab. But usually it doesn't make a difference when you do that. I try to keep these orange. To take it off the loom, all you have to do is take the orange bands and put them on the pen. And then you're going to take your hook and push it through here, don't get it caught on any bands and make sure you want it on here because it does not come off easily it'll be like so and all you have to do then is go like this with your hook take off the pen make sure it's secure push it down as far as you want and you have now your pencil or hook rainbow grippy